I got Sam Howell here, okay? North Carolina quarterback, played for my old coach, Mac Brown. He's heard all those talks. He knows Sally Brown. How many yeah. times has Mac brought up Sally during a team meeting? Oh, every, I every time. Sally likes it, right? Yeah. I, that's my yeah. favorite part of Mac. Yeah, no, it's he, awesome. He, he, he sells things that way. But uh, congrats, man. Great yeah. year, great Thank college so career. Thank you so much. Here. Yes, sir. Glad to be here. Mike, you want to lead it off? Go ahead, buddy. Well, I was just going to say, he's got an awesome beard. It reminds me of my son's beard. I can't grow a beard like that. Chris, I know there's no way in hell you could ever in your lifetime, no matter how many years you live, to grow a beard like that. No chance. Absolutely no chance. I think it's pretty perfect, really. Yeah, for, I've, had it, I've had it for a little while. I had it since my like freshman year of high school. I don't even know what I look, look like at without that it crap. nowadays. Freshman year of high school, I had no hair in a lot of areas of my body still then. He was growing up. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, Sam Howe has no idea yes, what he's walked into. Uh, yeah, they, he doesn't know what he walked into. Let's get right to it. <laughs> hey, look, they, they, say, they say it's not a very strong class of quarterbacks. Tell us why a team should be looking at you if they need to address the position. Yeah, I think it's my ability to lead a team. You know, I kind of went into a program that was struggling at the time, and I went in there and, and set a new standard and kind of brought the program back to where it should be. Um, and I think it's, I, I can make every single throw on the field. I think I'm athletic enough to be, to be a weapon with my legs. Um, and I think mentally, you know, I can take any system as far as the coordinator wants to wants to take it. But I, I truly think what separates me as a quarterback is, is my ability to lead a team and rally a team. Who's the quarterback that you grew up idolizing and trying to pat, pattern your game after? Yeah, I wouldn't say I, I really have one guy that I, you know, try to pattern my game after. I try to take like bits and pieces from a lot of get people's games. Um, but the person I probably watch the most is Drew Brees. Uh, I think he he does a really good job. You can tell how smart he is. You can tell how how good he is at processing information. Um, and you can tell he always he always has a plan with the ball before the ball is even snapped. No question. We worked with Drew this year, and Drew's Drew's great. He's a great role model to have. Um, who are you working with, like as far as like quarterbacks? You know, who's your quarterback coach you've been working with here since the season ended? Yeah, Anthony Boone. Okay, uh, he's based out of Charlotte, played at Duke right. um, a couple years back. Um, so yeah, he's been training me really since I was like a freshman in high school. Gotcha. Um, and he's done a really good job for me, so I stuck with him. So like you know, hey, you, like you said, you can make all the throws. You're a good athlete. You can get out of the pocket. You can launch it down the field. You're a good deep ball thrower. Like anything mechanically. You know, you've worked on since after the season or your career's over to where you just go, wait, i got to fix this. Anything, mm -hmm. you know, tighten up emotion, let footwork. What is, what is the one thing that, you know, you've really focused on that you felt like you had to improve? Yeah, I think the main thing is, the main thing is just consistency with my feet. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, I, I kind of got away with some bad footwork just because, you know, I think I, my arm is pretty talented and, I, you know, my, my footwork wasn't always where it should be. Um, so just trying to tune that up and be a lot more consistent with that is kind of the main thing we've been focusing on. Right. What, tell me about the NFL football, like the first time you grabbed that, because it is different from the college ball. Yeah. You know? what, what was it like? Yeah, it, it was a lot different. Um, yeah. It took me probably – you know, two or three throwing sessions to, to really feel comfortable with it. Right. Um, but did I you change like your grip at all? At I, I didn't. I uh, kept the same grip. Yeah. Um, what do you? How do you grip it? If you don't mind me nerding out, do you yeah. know? Yeah. Uh, um, I put my ring finger on the second lace. Second lace. Yep. And the pinky's not. On you're the, underneath. Underneath. Right. Yeah. So you're two and under four yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like four. Right. Four, four or five. Or five. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yes, all right. So you didn't have to adjust your grip, but the ball is different. We tell everybody why the ball, the NFL ball, is different. Yeah. It's just a little bit bigger yeah. um, than, than what we use in college. College we use a Nike ball. Um, a bit smaller football um so it, it, honestly i kind of like it a little better now that i've i've gotten used right? to it yeah laces are good the leather's yep. better quality yeah yep. you'll like it better yes sir sam how close did you come to sticking around for one more year at north carolina um i don't know um it, it was a little bit of a, de a decision to make um but it was just something i i prayed about a lot and talked to you know all the people close to me and i kind of just felt like this was the, the best move for me uh, you know i feel like i'm ready to you know take this next step um and i feel like i have everything it takes to you know excel at the next level do you have do you have a desire to jump right in and play right away or do you see the uh, value for you in sitting for one maybe two years maybe even longer than that as you learn the game behind the scenes yeah, I think the you know the competitive nature of, of who I am wants to you know get out there day one and, and start. Um, but you know I think I'm I'm fine either way. You know I just want to make sure I'm doing everything I can to get better each and every day and, and try to become the best version of myself I can. Um, and if that's not good enough to start at the time, then I'll just continue to get better um, and, and help the team every, in every way that I can. Um, but you know I think the competitive nature of who I am would would like to play early on. Uh, but I also understand the you know the benefit of, of sitting behind a guy who's, who's done it for a little while. 
Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.